In the past video, we were having problem an error whenever we feel this. So this is how the error was happening. So we we'll click on um, this and then click on add user. We we'll run into this error. Telling us property key does not exist in the collection instance. Now, what uh, the solution to the problem is that here we are trying to retrieve the user with this email, and uh, that's a single record, right? So when you're trying to uh, retrieve a single record in Laravel, you use first, all right? If you're trying to retrieve a group of records, that is like a list of users with that matches this email or something, you can now use get. So in this case, we're, um, we're retrieving a, a single record. So we're telling it, once you find the first record that matches this email, um, just stop searching, you understand? Single record. So since, uh, since it's a single record, we we'll use first. Once we use first, every other code we wrote will start working. Uh, sorry for the highlight. Um, where are we? Add user. Cool. So right here, what we can do is to refresh. I'm um, pressing Ctrl R on my keyboard to refresh, and I click Continue. Then it will add the user to my database. So as you can see, devozalo at gmail.com was added to the project successfully. Cool. Now we have this added. Uh, we're supposed to display it here as a team member so what we can do is as you can see it's showing up a kind of a word text and that's because we have the syntax error let us go to show.blade.php and look for what we have here as you can see we have curly bracelets too here but here we have a block bracelet um we have one curly bracelet and one block we're supposed to make everything curly bracelets right now we have sorted the curly bracelet issue out so let us refresh Um, as you can see, that's added Dave. But there is a problem. It is adding Dave twice. We don't need it to add twice. Okay, that's one problem. And uh, so, which means if we go to Project User, this is the join table, and click on Browse, we're having um, this, um, we're having two users added to the project. So, uh, we don't want the same user being added to the same project twice. So we're going to write a code. There are many ways to, um, there could be other ways to sort this out. But what we're going to do here is to first of all write a code to check whether this user already exists. So um, one way to do that is to actually write a code that works with um, uh, Laravel, that join table. The name of the join table is um, project user. So we're going to go to project user. So copy this class name. Like I said, you could achieve this in other ways, but I'm just going to do it the basic uh, way. So we've copied the class name. So we're going to simply check um, project user. We're going to check if that record already exists. So we can say project user. Please check if um, where, of course, uh, we do first. So before we save the user, we, we, we're trying to check if the user has already existed, if it's, uh, if the person exists already. we we'll just throw up a, a sort of message for the person. So first of all, we are looking for a way uh, where so that's just one way. We're going to start searching for email if the email exists and it matches and then the username or whatever. So, but instead of searching for this table directly, what we can do is we can come here and um, directly here, instead of just using attach, we can try to use toggle. Toggle tells um, this table what to do. The, in toggle, if the, use, if the record already exists, it will remove it. If the record um, doesn't exist, it will create it. So you see that that method also doesn't work in all instances. For instance, we wouldn't want to remove a user that already exists that uh, when somebody is accidentally trying to add them again you understand so if you use toggle toggle will check whether this I, this user already exists in this project table if this user already exists it will detach it will delete it you understand but if the user doesn't exist it will create the record that's what toggle does remember you can read this up in laravel documentation if you go to laravel documentation and uh, you click on eloquence relationships 
So we can start looking at uh, many-to-many -many relationships, saving many-to-many relationships. So if you go to toggle, you see toggle. So toggle basically, um, from what is written here, the attachment, if the given ID is currently attached, it will detach. Likewise, if it is currently detached, it will attach. Um, we don't really need this uh, because we don't want somebody that already existed in the table to be removed accidentally you understand because somebody doesn't know and somebody's trying to add them we don't want that so we will have to go the manual way and then manually manually um do what we want to do so if you find another way to do this let me see in the comments so we're basically going to check if this user guy exists so where the email is um is the input email yeah this guy not email we're watching for the user id where the user id being added is the user id so we're gonna go here and um this is where we've already retrieved it we've retrieved the user id check if user is already added the project okay so um sorry when I, if i'm making mistakes while typing i bought a new uh, keyboard water spilled on my keyboard so i bought a new keyboard and i'm still battling with it so if you want to donate to me remember you can donate to my bitcoin account so i'll paste my bitcoin account on the first video in this series if you have bitcoin and you feel like you want to donate you can transfer bitcoin then I can I'll paste it to at the bottom of this video in the description. So if you want to donate Bitcoin, you can donate so I can buy uh, much better equipment for these tutorials. All right, so we're back to what we're doing. Now we are basically checking if this user, if the user with this email exists. Cool. We're gonna check um, if the user with this ID exists. So we're gonna check again where the project ID also is the project ID we're having. The project ID is the ID of the project in question. So I can just say project ID, same thing. So I hope you understand what I'm doing. I will explain it one more time so that it, may, it all makes sense, but I'll um, show, just show you what I'm trying to do. Cool. What we're trying to do is to just take a look at this database. If you go to our database, and we check the, the joint table, which is project user. We'll see that this table has project ID and user ID. The reason why we're having double record here is because there is a match. The project ID and the user ID is has already existed before, but our method, our, our, our method couldn't check it, so we just added it again. Same project and same user. So what we're trying to do is that before we create a project, we want to check whether there is the project we want to create, does it already exist here? If it exists, does this user already exist along with the project? So um, that's what we're basically trying to do here. Whatever we're trying to say, does it already exist? The user ID and the project ID, do they already exist in the table? If they already exist, then there's no point creating them. We'll have to um, pan out immediately. We'll have to uh, uh, exit this method immediately. So we can say if um, this actually ran, I'm still battling with my keyboard. I'm still battling with my keyboard. Okay, cool. So we're going. We're basically saying, if this actually run, what we're gonna do is um, exit this immediately. So we'll copy this. You know, when a method is running and it says re the return statement, it will end this method. It will not run anything below again. Okay. So I'm gonna put a um, check if user exists. So I'm gonna put. If user already exists, uh, exit. So we're gonna exit. Go to the show. Go to the the, the page, and then we're gonna pass a message. We can say, user already exists. Exists. Is already a member of this project. Is already a member of this project. So this sorts out the issue 
so we will never be able to um, add, add somebody that already exists in this project so let's try it just to be sure it works we'll go to a lot of it we'll go to a database um, and we'll delete um, one of them let's delete this one so once it's deleted we'll try and add Dave again and see whether um, it will add so if we try let's refresh just to be sure that one of them goes I'll right click and refresh one of them will disappear and we have an error and where is our error we didn't actually we just duplicated companies um, company here so um, I know you must have seen it but I didn't see it so what we're looking for is project user which is um, this table just to confirm this project user model and this is the class we're looking for project user so we're trying to import it here so that we can use it here all right so that's that settled so we'll refresh this page and now it is refreshed we see that we just have only one div so let's try and add div again to this project we'll do add div to the project again to add we're supposed to get a message telling us that hey div already exists and there we have an error um the error is yeah right it's a basic error that is saying that this project user table doesn't exist but the reason why uh, it doesn't exist is that if we go to project table uh, Laravel is trying to get guess the table name for us and we named it something else what we actually named it is all in singular project user all right so but Laravel is trying to get that is project user so we will have to create tell Laravel the name of the table it uh, project user we did it in singular Laravel gives you the um really I think this is how it's done protected um so this is how you uh, in Laravel this is how you tell Laravel the the table that is working with this model now we have it sorted out we can um, simply um, go back to our app and refresh and click continue and um, it works out this time it's telling us that Dave is already a member of this project and it never added so I can try just one more time to show you um, click on add as you can see Dave is already a member of this project and it didn't happen so in the next video what we're gonna do is that uh, we're gonna make sure that somebody who hasn't already signed up in our app cannot be added to a project so imagine that somebody comes here and starts um, adding strangers to this project to be crazy um, really crazy um, so if the person hasn't already signed up uh, we're gonna uh, prompt uh, we're gonna just give pass a message saying that this guy hasn't signed up let them sign up first now to know a user that has signed up what we're gonna do is to check the user's table whether um, that user exists so but we'll do it in the next video now what I want you to do for me right now is to um, start this um, source code the source code to this project I'm building I gave it out for free and it's on, on on github so to find it on github you have to go to my repository go to github.com slash this is me so once you type this correctly it will show up my my um, my github account now the first thing you do uh, for my github account is to follow me you will check out this section you will see a button to follow me on github right that's the first thing then the next thing you have to do is to start this repository so you click on repositories we want to get the stars up to 1000 can we do that guys you'll see p manager that is the name of this project click on it once once it opens you just click on star look at star here I've started that's why there's an on star there are 10 of you that have created this already I really appreciate so if you click it if I click on these names I will see your name as one of the people that have um, contributed and that means a lot so click on the star we're trying to get 1000 stars on this um, repository so post right now whatever you're doing go to this github repository and um, follow me then hit the star button for this repository let us see if we can make it the best level project out there thank you very much see you in the next video